8 the 1st on Tuesday, the 2nd on Wednesday. Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven, and this is Cold Steel 4 and the start of chapter 1. How will the new class 7 proceed? Where will we start? How will we start? Saint Graal's Labyrinth. Yeesh, this place gives me a serious case of the heebie-jeebies. So this is it? The Hexen Clan's Labyrinth of Ordeals. That it is. As I told you yesterday, your long rest has left you weak. If you remain so out of shape, you will find yourself in mortal danger with every battle that lies ahead. I do feel like I'm weaker than before. <sighs> I still feel kind of bad that we couldn't head out with the others, though. Earlier, that morning. So that would explain why they're around level 28 instead of where we were at the end of the last game. They are weak because she's been, they've been out of it for two weeks. Okay, Randolph, take good care of these three. Grandmother, try not to be too hard on them. Of course. I may not look it, but I am an instructor, remember? Oh, worry not. I plan to rough them up just enough to get them ready. <sighs> Come now, there's no need to be so down. You'll catch up to us before you know it. Besides, while you're doing your training, we'll be gathering intel. We'll look for info on Reen, the mobilization law, uh, anything that might come in handy. Come join us once you're ready. We've got a tough mission ahead. We're gonna need all hands on deck. Understood. I promise. We won't be far behind you. Good luck. And please, be careful. Don't do anything crazy. At least not without us. Right. Then until we meet again, may the wind and the goddess be with you. Overcome whatever ordeals await you, and come find us. Alright then. Time to figure out just how much weaker we've gotten. Well, more how fast we can get back to where we were, so we can actually get out there try to find Reen. So our objective is to enter the labyrinth and begin exploring. Yes, once you have fought off the vicious monsters in your path and made your way to the utmost depths of the labyrinth, that will be it for today. Orlando, if you would lead them. Roger Wilco. Randy, I... thank you. For helping us, I mean. I imagine you must be worried about the other branch campus students and Tio. Sure, but I trust Tio Tot to take care of herself. And worrying about things you can't control doesn't help anyone. True, but that doesn't make it easy. What I can do to help, though, is get you guys back up to speed while Reen's not here. And I'm sure that focusing on this right now will lead us to everyone else down the line. Thank you. We'll do our very best. We appreciate your guidance. Good. It sounds like you are ready, then. You stand before the grounds where witches of the Hexen clan who wish to venture outside the village must first prove their worth. Are you strong enough to survive the labyrinth? Because then you'll be strong enough to survive out there. So that's basically what we're doing here. So if that's right, that means that everyone in the village could potentially be very strong. So potential strong allies? Saint Graal Labyrinth. Act 1. The Trials of Class 7. Okay, so we don't have any chapters, we have acts. And with acts is usually 3, 1, right? Like a start, a middle, and an end. Alright, let's see how it goes. The Trials. Whoa, what an eerie place. <laughs> I've been here before with the old class 7, and it's a pretty tough dungeon. You might have a hard time clearing it. Wait, you think uh, we've gotten that weak, do you? 
Yeah, I do. That's why I don't uh, show me. Why don't you show me I'm wrong? By the way, you'll probably need these. I noticed you dropped them earlier. Ooh, our own first starter master course. And let me guess, back to level one again. <laughs> Did these fall out from our arcuses? Yes, and none of you noticed. Jeez. How many cores did you lose like this? Anyway, don't forget to equip them. And it gives us a reason why we need to start col recollecting all our master cores again. S sneaky game. We did so much last time to get them to where they are. You could have let us keep, keep them and build upon it, like to level 14 or something. Roger. Hmm. Orbments. A general term for mechanical devices that extract orbital energy from septium and use it to generate magical effects and enhancements. Battle Orbment, the Arcus II. A personal use device that can harness orbital energy in a variety of ways, depending on the quartz set in it. Quartz. A circuit made from septium fragments called sepith. Set into battle orbments to harness a variety of powers and properties. Yeah, we need. We know how it works. We played a lot of uh, Trails games so far. Uh, Master Quartz, a special kind of quartz which can be set into the center of the new Argus II Battle Orbments. These quartz are stronger and more adaptable than the regular quartz, and by fighting battles with uh, one set in your orbment, will level up and gain new abilities. Quartz, there are several varieties of quartz that can be used with Argus II Orbments. Set the Master Quartz into your Argus IIs. Master Quartz can be set uh, in the orbit section of the camp menu. Yes, we know. Set the Master Quartz for the Arcus 2. We will talk after that. Alright. Ooh, wait. Okay. <laughs> First and sub. That's still the same. Don't get too excited. Uh, let's keep the divide the same. For now. At least. Ooh, it looks like the first three are already filled with basic cords. Um, we do have action two and attack two. Uh, he needs to have the speed and evade. And she can have attack because she's hit. Here hitting uh, multiple targets. This gives us attack number one, which he can then have to increase what he has. Alright, well, for um, beginnings. And of course, uh, we first upgrade all of the Arcus uh, orbits until we get to maximum, so we don't have to focus on that, and we can use the DLC separate sets in order to increase our base sets uh, set it to get that started a bit quicker. But that's for a later point. Hmm, I thought you were just joking earlier. But we truly are weaker now than we were at the Grawl. Yes, we also misplaced the rest of our cards, as, as he said. Well, that's why I'm making you run this drill. I can't do anything about your butterfingers, but I'll get you back into shape. And I also want to make sure you can use orders. What? You mean Brave Orders? That shouldn't be a problem. Our Arcuses are fully functional. Until I see uh, you prove it in the field, we don't know for sure. Plus, I'll give you kids some battle tech tips, alright? I'm your instructor while well, Reen's gone and trust me. I'll work you way harder than the Ashen uh, Chevalier. Well, whatever you throw at us, we can handle it. I agree. Let's get started then. Party order. You can change the character leading the party in the camp menu or on the field by pressing the LB button. In addition, you can use the tactics section to change the party order as well as battle formations. Let's go! Now! Yeah, she's gonna be front because she can stun people, let do her status, she can be in the back, he can be more to the front. Because he is for Randy the Grey. And of course the link doesn't matter, as long as they are linked, that's all we need. He is strong, that's, that's where we want to be, above the 10,000 mark. <laughs> mm. 
look, an Orbment uh, charging station. If things get too rough, let's uh, come back here. Orbment charging stations like this are found in particularly dangerous areas. Inspecting them by pressing the A and choosing rest will allow you to recover HP and EP. That is fully true. Ah, we can break the crystal just like with other objects. Very good. So I'm guessing that's where we need to go, and this is where we come from. Can we get back to town if we wanted to? This training is our first step towards saving Instructor Reen. We need to put all our all into it. We can't afford to mess around here. Right, let's give it everything we have. Let's uh, do that, shall we? Uh, I do like the visuals already. It's already a bit different from anything we've done so far. And I can remember certain, Found some treasure. but didn't you all say in the comments like a while back that we would have more dungeons uh, and greater dungeons in Cold Steel 4? I guess today we'll find out. Uh, silver chain. Okay, all accessories we'll equip. And of course he is fixed with his own uh, weapon. Accessories will be granted to our own. Defense poison. Yeah, let's give it to him just to overcompensate for her 2008 uh, AP. And of course, like always, all evades will go to Kurt unless we uh, decide to give him another build. Because we do need to pick a CP uh, generator, which we always like to have, but it might be a bit before we can actually have one. Some nice basic items. I want to make sure that uh, we go to the right place at the last time. Yeah. This one is closed for now. Ah, our first enemy. Well, with the new class 7. That's a monster? <laughs> it looks more like... Yes, I call it a fiend. Hmm, we should exercise uh, caution. Yeah, you'll regret it if you're too confident. The Lumeran suppresses uh, the three higher elements in phase one. You should still be able to deal with the opponents here as long as you make good use of those combat links, your orders. Got it? I see. Well, we should get some training in so we can re-familiarize ourselves with these uh, combat tactics. Yeah, good idea. And he did say layers. So does it mean that this dungeon serves like the old school building? Like for now we're gonna be on level 1, we need to reach the end of it. And the further we progress in the game, the deeper into this labyrinth we go as a means of strengthening ourselves? Maybe. Or maybe we just go to all the levels right now, but we'll see. I'm just theorizing a little bit. Link settings. You can change combat uh, link settings in the tactics uh, page of the camp menu. You can form combat links in the tactic section of the camp menu and you can change it in combat because we've done that plenty of times. Alright, let's go. There. Double advantage. About breaks. Enemies enter a break state upon their break gauge being reduced to zero and are left vulnerable for a brief duration. Do not order Sledgehammer is an excellent way of boosting the break damage you deal to enemies to break their guard quicker. Alright, then uh, it seems that you want me to do that, so let's do that. Break. Break occurs when the enemy break gauge is reduced to zero. This will disable the enemy for a brief duration. Alright, we know that. And let's see. Gunner mode, because we like that, because it's for a bigger area. Uh, do we want to fight or do we want to help Ali to scan everything a bit quicker? Eh? Homing mold. Let's go. Detector. Search mode activated. Scan complete. 
scan is for the most our first priority. Uh, Death Storm. KO, Burn, and Warcry, which we like. Ooh, CP80. That's a decent amount. And the Berserker. Are we in there? Since uh, people are already Get broken. Out. Go. Let's go. Here I go. <laughs> no problemo. Yeah, Randy, of course, being cool as ever. <laughs> that went uh, all right, but still. Yes, the power of our orders was underwhelming, to say the least. So, it wasn't my imagination. See? I told you, didn't I? But, why did orders get weaker? They've got nothing to do with our physical strength. Are you affected too, Randy? Nah, I'm fine. But, some of the old class 7 members were having the same problem. It didn't hit anyone as bad as you guys did, though. Rose thinks it's got something to do with Reen's curse. His curse is affecting us? That is, uh, fairly inconvenient. But why is it affecting us more than the others? Maybe because we lost a lot more mana when we were piloting our Panzer soldats? Nah, <laughs> it's so annoying we can't use orders like we used to. You might have to look for a way to get your orders back to full power. But for now, I just think of it as a more intense training. I know you can do it. You're right, thanks. Brave orders. Even with their powers reduced, Brave Orders are extremely useful against strong foes thanks to their special attacks. Unit's Orders can help if they break while card enables a flurry of rapid attacks. Alternate with them with Athena's Defense Order to get an edge over the enemy in tough battles. The Battle Tab is now unlocked in your notebook. The Battle Tab will automatically record information about the enemies you have fought. In order to unlock all of its given information, you must make numerous attacks against them or use certain art items or crafts. So this confirmed that just attacking would eventually give you the information. It just makes it quicker if you just uh, use items or detector. Analysis. Fighting a given enemy of uh, enemy gradually unlocks information about them. The pedoscope and certain arts can unlock all the information at once. This shows how likely an enemy is to be afflicted with particular status ailments. Yeah, we know the deal, we played around with it quite a bit, but on the next fight, let's check out our orders, because I just assumed that they were still the same, but if they say they're weaker, we should see it in writing as well, right? Because the break one was formerly to 300%, is now back to 150? Or even worse? A new type of fiend? Hmm, I don't like the looks of it. Yeah, we better be careful. Hmm, this might be the perfect time to test uh, out gunner mode. We already tested it out. We strike. About Yuna's mode change. Press RT button when Yuna's in battle to switch modes. Although Gunner Mode doesn't get the same attack and defense boost as Striker Mode, the range of your normal attacks, crafts and counter attacks will increase. Generally speaking, Striker Mode should be used against a single powerful opponent, while Gunner Mode is the best against swarms of enemies. You can also change Unit Mode from the Equip screen in the Cam menu. Mode change, press RT to change Unit Mode during battle. Like, we know, we know. Okay, 150, 60% and only 10% restoration and absolute reflect. So yeah, technically they are weaker. But wasn't Slash Army before also 3 BP instead of 2? At least, it's weaker so once we fulfill this uh, mission by doing this dungeon, maybe they will be back uh, on to par, just the way we want to. Might as well just uh, use break. 
is still one of our favorites. Got it. You're done for. Eat this. Let's go. Yeah. I shall go. Now the break is actually uh, destroyed. He gets to uh, use it. No. Ooh, that's a bit of a nightmare. I shall go. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we better heal uh, My turn. Kurt after this. Huh. It's down. Gotcha. Good. My turn. Hm. My turn. Yeah, Renu will make sure yeah. that uh, we'll survive this dungeon, that's for sure. Target's eliminated. Move out. And let's see if in this game we can switch out uh, Yuna's mode more frequently, like when we actually need to use it, like when we met the boss and all the other additional mobs have been destroyed, they would then switch back to striker mode. Do more, more, more damage and more defensive capabilities, so yeah. Let's see if we can remind ourselves of that. Not bad, huh? Hmm, we're doing better uh, now that we've been at this for a while. Let's keep the momentum going. Yep, keep going, you guys. Yeah, and I should, uh, on the next fight, scan that uh, robed uh, guy. I just want to destroy them because there were so many. Lots and lots of sapid. Nice. Another type of monster again. Let's get this side first. There. Those monsters won't disappear. Oh, a treasure chest. HP two. Yeah, for now. Oh, I haven't set that. No breath. Fatigue removed. Oh, that's cool. An <laughs> actual reaction to the healing process. Yes, we did remove your fatigue. Watch out, there's a strong foe ahead of us. That's the best, uh, the most annoying one you can find in this area. Use everything you've got and don't hold back. Orders, craft, art, everything. And it goes without saying, but combat links are essential when you're in battle. Try to uh, break the enemy first. Hey, my order's just uh, the thing for that. Should Altina and I follow up with Russian Burst next? High level and link attacks can have a better chance of inflicting break. <laughs> you guys know what's up. That's pretty good. I'll let you use my order for this one too. Let me know if you need it. Don't rely on it too much though. Only use it when you really need it, okay? <laughs> we got it. Rennie can now use the order Proud Warrior. Rennie's Proud Warrior is a specialized offensive order. It buffs your team and increases damage delivering to your foes for both physical and magical attacks. Followed up with s crafts and high-powered arts to deal huge amounts of damage in a short amount of time. Yes, I got that. Mainly break the enemy, then pick up Randy for extra damage during the break stage. Rush and burst attacks. On the an enemy allows you to follow up by pressing Y button for a wide two-person rush attack or by pressing the X button for an all-encompassing four-person burst attack. It doesn't work when your party's smaller. Both options contribute more damage uh, against an enemy's guard, making it easier to force them into a break state and making them much more vulnerable to being unbalanced again. 
forcing enemies into her break state uh, through either a rush or a burst attack and then guard her, get her BP once more following it uh, is but one of many viable strategies. Just be certain to spend your BP wisely. A rush attack consumes only 2, but a burst consumes 5 BP. Rush, a powerful ink attack. Burst, an attack on all enemies. Alright, 2 even. And yes, 2 is touching for all of it, so it means that they can now be leveled up, and that's how we regain our strength in Sledgehammer. How we level them up? I don't know yet. Maybe just by completing certain. Uh, Objectives. Mm, let's first uh, go into break. It's of course the same enemy, so the rubber troll is for the detector from uh, Altina. And Renny can just do his own thing. Try this on for size. Crimson Gale! Now's our chance! It's mine! Yeah, just to bring things uh, back again. Oh, wait, wait, it is there. I'm gonna get rid of the small ones Here we can. I there. Wide open. I'll assist. I shall go. Search mode activate. Scan complete. Ah, the rubber troll. Hmm, <laughs> blind. Oh, he doesn't have the evade yet to uh, get rid of everything. Alright, good. There! They're mine! Let's go! My turn! Yeah. Knocked him right into next week! Ooh, Regulus X has been leveled up, and of course that's Randy's. <laughs> One we cannot unequip, is it? Regulus AX reached level 2. Heat up. Phew, the danger's been uh, dealt with. Yeah, but enemies like that used to be a piece of cake for us. Yes, it appears we will need to uh, play catch up. It is quite aggravating to think about all the training we will need just to return to how we were before. Hey, don't sweat it. Take it one step at a time and you'll get there. Everything will be fine. Besides, it looks like you've gotten strong, gotten back into the swings of things. I'll leave the decision making to you guys now, so take down the enemies however you want. <laughs> Thanks, Randy. Yeah, we've shown them that we know what we're doing, so now we can just fight the enemies normally like we always do. Let's see. Ooh, yes, that's uh, an Altina trick. These pillars appear to be cracked. Leave it to me, I'll call Claim Salah. Thanks, Ali. I can handle it, but you and Randy are probably more efficient. <laughs> well, efficient's uh, efficient, yeah? Certain objects in the field, such as cracked pillars, can be destroyed by a field attack from a character whose weapon strike rating is A or higher. Some weapons are more effective than others. For example, Athena and Randy can destroy an obstacle in one hit, while Yuna needs two. There. Well, I gladly... Use Antina for rent. Alright, let's uh well let's just take him down, shall we? You're done for! Eat this! Very well. Chuck! Alright! Let's get him! I'll assist! Back to full force. All right, we rocked it, Ali. You know nothing yes. that reached Link the level two. Right, cheer and other charge, good. Well, the higher it is, the better it is, as always. Eh. 
And you make, gotta make sure to break this because there can be items in the, those things probably every once in a while. Ah, that is uh, the, the way forward. <laughs> Below is where the chest is. Doesn't matter. We'll get him regardless. Now's our chance. Mm okay. You're done for. Eat this. Don't kill the rogue guy. My turn. Thank you. An absolute reflect. All right. My turn. And of course, because we got one BP back, I thought it would be the perfect moment to well, use active. some. Detailed information obtained. <laughs> you can actually see someone talking or chatting behind that boss. Really cool detail. Now. Now. They're mine. <laughs> hey, Very we well. uh, picked at the reflect for a reason, so enjoy. It's down. Go. Knocked him right in the next week. Mm, not bad. There's a decent price of BP to use, but Absolute Reflect is really powerful. Probably the reason why it's expensive. I must train even more. Yeah, I did it! Stats updated. And I'm guessing uh, yeah. all the moves will be upgraded along the way too, like we've seen in other ones. I hope so, it would be very cool. Or learn new ones that are far more like flashy or something. Yeah. There. There. This is the end. Got him. Don't let up. Triple advantage. Yes, we know. Big boys uh, off the table. It is an art. Arcus, activate. Here I go. Set striker. Ha, ha. Ha. God. I shall go. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, annoying, Very but well. it's not uh, really strong, is it? There. Not compared to. Uh, gotcha. Our team. Got it. <laughs> no problemo. Whoo, baby, some treasure. Uh, Practice puppets will never wear, cause once you use it, it all disappears, and I don't like that uh, for my items.
About Chained Battles. Initiate an encounter with one or multiple enemies close by will result in you fighting one battle immediately after another one to three consecutive times. In addition to granting their own tactical bonus, Chained Battle accumulates experience points only at the end of the last encounter and result in nothing more than you would otherwise receive. Yes, that's well the main reason why we did it, isn't it? Uh, let's see... One turn... Let's go. There. It's my turn. Set gunner. You can't escape. Fire. They're down. Now. Yeah, let's break him off, sir. Uh, he has his move, so he doesn't uh, restore that quickly. God. God. Very well. Huh. There. Gotcha. Now. Now. All right, break him. Good. It's mine. Let's go. Yeah, it's gonna be gone way before his there. turn. Gotcha. <laughs> Keep them coming. God. Very well. Break through. Sledgehammer. Let's go. Eat this! <laughs> no problemo. Yeah, and that's how you quickly take an enemy group down. I must train even more. Yeah, I did it! Stats updated. Going strong. There! Charge complete. Eh. Alright, those charges are back again. Ooh. Next uh, area. I see save points, so I'm guessing we're gonna fight a boss down here. Are you ready for that? We can take a break here. Yeah, we should. Hmm. Let's uh, make sure we also create a save for it. Because I don't know what we're gonna encounter, but I'm sure we can handle it. We have Randy, and he's basically twice the level we have. Oh yeah, definitely a boss, and look like the crack behind it will let us go to the next stage. So if I'm right, and this is a little bit like a uh, school level, maybe we'll do it at a later time, or we're gonna do it straight away. It's gonna be one or the two. Alright, I think, uh, you know what? Let's go for it. Why not? <laughs> Having some trouble, are we? <laughs> Testing us already? Rose? What are you doing here? She must have teleported herself ahead of us. Yes, I suppose I did. What marks would you give these students, Orlando? I'd say they pass, but just barely. Still, I think they're ready for today's final test. Uh, it is. One level today, the rest tomorrow. You can't be serious. Wait! Is our final test really gonna be... Yes. A battle against the last of the true ancestors and elder of the Hexen clan herself. I wish to see the limit of your power. And then, what lies beyond it? 
Rise to the level of your predecessors, that you may reclaim your lost instructor! We'll do just that. That was our intention from the start. Let's go, guys. Come on, Randy, you too! Sure, but let me warn you, Roselia's crazy strong. You're gonna need to hit her with all you've got. We will. Now, come at me with everything you have! Well, and considering that uh, Randy is telling out that she's crazy strong, let's make sure that uh, everyone's HP is really up to snuff. Also, considering that the uh, AP requirements is survived to the end. So yeah, let's focus on that and then slowly, slowly riddle her down. That's it. Halfway? Damn, that's a lot for uh, a witch of her stature. Go. Uh, break is A. You're done for. Eat this. I do believe I'll help myself. No, no, you will not help yourself. <laughs> How refreshing. Very well. Not fine. Mm, let's see. Because if we get to. Ooh, no, we're not gonna break her. Look at that. One hit of a breakable move, and only the sliver. Yeah, it's gonna take a long while. The, the break damage 150% is not gonna do much. Uh, Altina will detect her. Res can try and damage her. Uh, so I'm guessing. Keep our CP up to max. And then use uh, our S cross all four at once. That may be a tactic. <laughs> Let's uh, try that for the moment. Here I go. You are in strike mode, so we can keep you there. The moves itself are still the same. Good. I shall go. Search mode activate. Scan complete. Elder of the Hexen Clan and powerful magic wielder. New class 7's final opponent. No advantage. Ooh. Freeze down and poison. Hmm. I shall go. Mm -hmm. There! Let's go! Okay. And 200, so that's the first. Uh, let's try an arch, shall we? Uh, my turn! <laughs> They're off guard! It's mine! It's my turn! <laughs> yeah! Or I see another opportunity as well, but it will need to be a little bit higher. At least uh, two more with uh, maximum CP. Take this. My turn. All right, what uh, do you have? Confused? Probably won't work. Mm, orders with CP recovery? No, just EP. CP recovery, we don't have that yet. At least no one with that. Here I go! Hmm. Really? Uh, I should have watched Here that. Perfect opportunity to cut in with a uh, attack. Might uh, need uh, some healing. My turn. I'm just gonna Let's go. Evan say that I will use Very it for well. burst, but absolute reflect might be nice too. Got it! 
I shall go. So, yeah, that heal didn't, uh, wasn't nice, it was 14,000, it was a lot uh, of recovery. We basically started over back then. Yeah, that's uh, inexcusable. Is that at some point she's gonna pick up something special as we get closer to her, her gauge? So I want to make sure that we have enough CP in order to counter that to go by going straight down on her and power her way through. But we need to get there too. Try this on for size, Crimson Gale. <laughs> yeah. Now. Mm hmm. Hmm. That might be a good one too. we needed to get her down this march <laughs> i would have uh, ended the episode and started it on the next one but now that we're here we have to deal with it mm. okay i think we are at 20 percent <laughs> yeah just to pump it away Decent recovery point. Ooh, she got max CP. Here I go. Zero arts. There. Here I go. Try this on for size. Crimson game. Now's our chance! It's mine! Okay, so there, there is a, the chance of getting a hit on her for more BP point is very small. Let's go. That's uh, for certain. Those points. Here I go. 
We're getting there, slowly arriving at halfway. Ooh, thank you, Yuna. No! Ah, you goddamn son of a bitch! Jesus Christ! Ah! Second time. Second time. I'm so focused on trying to get her to the point that I'm disregarding the entire attack gauge. I'm basically like class 7 right now. Weakened from uh, our last uh, encounter in Heimdall. I need to recover our intelligence as well. Let's go! Okay. My turn! Try this on for size! Crimson... Gale! I do believe I'll help you stop <laughs> How refreshing! Here I go! Okay. Very well! Yeah, CP is uh, not a thing right now. Now. Okay, let's do an Argon heal. Yeah, this fight is going longer because of my own mistake. Yeah, we're not allowed to do test storm. Or I need to readjust it, and I just don't feel like it. All right. <laughs> okay, almost back where we were before. My turn. Take this. Really, three attacks. I know you're strong, but yeah. you really are pushing it. I'll support our gym Thanks. Let's go. Yeah. Here I go. Uh, I feel like those two are getting a bit low on HP. Thank you. An opening. And since empowering was a lot of in the previous game, I'm gonna assume it's gonna be here too. So close. Yeah, that's oh thankfully it missed one of them at least. How refreshing. My turn. Hmm. Alright. Okay, so we have two. If we can just make her be able to uh, let us burst. So close. I'm just trying to pinpoint the point that we can break through with our CP and then decide whether or not we'll use our BP for increased strength or if we can force a burst out of it. Thank you. 
Let's go. Okay. My turn. About time I got this started. Ooh, you bring out the big guns. Yeah! Eat steel! Berserker! I'd just I'd give just up, up if I were you. You have done well holding out this far. But it is time we brought this to a close. Huh? Wait, it's not over? Certain enemies can become more powerful by entering an enhanced state. While an enemy is enhanced, they may use more powerful moves, so be careful. Okay. Nine perfect guards? Is that what we need? Uh... But this is not going to do anything, is it? That's a waste. I just fear the level of uh, Yuna's HP. It's a bit on the low end. Oh, survive! I oh, want my AP. <laughs> Maybe she's gonna kill the entire group just to finish Burn the fight. Because to, to be honest, I was hoping to push her with the. Uh, as cross past the point and just have the fight be over. Oh, they're all alive. Oh, so she had to do this. Oh, so just by sheer happenstance that because of the accessory Yuna's wearing that she survived that hit with 100 HP. Oh, that, that that's so little. Yeah, not the best fight I've ever had. I made two very crucial mistakes that it will haunt me the rest of this playthrough, which is good, because hunting means I will pay more attention. Randy and Kurt reach Link, level 2. Kurt and Yuna, Link, level 2. And of course, Kurt and Amtina, Link, level 2. Kurt's level went from 30 to 31, Yuna from 30 to 31, Amtina to 30 and 31. AP increased by 3. Thank you. First AP, and we didn't lose it. <laughs> Impressive. You managed to survive. That was real scary. Incredible. What power she wields. A single mistake, and we would have been done for. That wasn't half bad, you guys. Well, I suppose it counts as a pass, even if that was just a fraction of my power. Oh, you're back to normal. Yeah, but that voice was really nice when she was more of an adult. Was it the form you just took what you looked like originally? Yeah, that's correct. Up until I divided my power to create Selene and Grianos, I'm able to recover my Earthwell form in places like this, which overflow with mana. Though only for a brief time, as it were. <laughs> and now you're back to looking like a little girl. You're tinier than even Teotot used to be. Not saying there isn't a demand for that short uh, of look, but I much prefer you're mature for myself. Randy, keep that to yourself. No one cares to hear your preferences like this. Though, for some reason, it doesn't bother me as much as Instructorine. Oh, <laughs> I think uh, I know what you mean. Instructorine's stoic and calm for the most part, but then he's also some sort of playboy lady killer. I guess uh, Reen's been having a rough go uh, of it uh, on that end, huh? Just the consequences of his own natural charm, I suppose. Well, young ones, uh, consider this the first round complete. Take some rest and then enter Labyrinth once again. Each time you return here, you'll find even stronger monsters, just to keep things challenging. Huh? Please, don't tell me... 
We aren't finished here? <laughs> of course not. Your uh, through one uh, run through would be enough to get you back into fighting shape. We've only been here a few days. You won't be n nearly ready to go if we don't push you past your limits. Worry not. There are facilities here that will allow for a quick recovery. And then you can push those limits of yours to your heart's content. In fact, perhaps I'll go ahead and absorb some of that fresh young energy for myself. Seeing there's plenty to go around. Well, I guess the pressure's on, but alright, let's do this. Right, this is only the first step. I'll persist no matter how severe the training in order to uphold the oath I made to myself. Alright, level 1 completed, but how many levels are there to get to the bottom, isn't it? Ah, the hot springs. So this is a fairy spring, is it? Ah, oh, it's so soothing. It may be even more effective than the bath at our dorm. After everything we did today, I feel like I'm slowly starting to get some of my old strength back. I was worried at first when I noticed that just how stiff uh, I was in battle. But now? Yes, there's a light at the end of this tunnel. Our priority now is getting back in shape while the others start gathering intel. We may uh, want to rebuild our stock of quartz and equipment as well. Good call. There's a workshop in the village, so let's check it out later. Hey there. Taking a well-deserved dip, I see. Still in high spirits, I see. I suppose I will simply need to give you an even more grueling challenge tomorrow. Please do. Because we're going to get better equipment and we'll be better prepared against your onslaught. Oh, hey, you guys coming in? I'll, I'll just go ahead and make myself scarce then, my apologies. No, no, there's no need for that. You just uh, stay just as you are. Mix baiting is a uh, commonplace here, so think of it as a test of your fortitude. I'm not sure I like the way you put that. Yuna? Why this sudden embarrassment? Like I said before, I don't mind holding off this time around. Oh, but you're tired too, aren't you? It's not like there's any other boss you can use. Uh, it's really not a big deal, we're all wearing towels after all. I'd watch out if I were you. A swimsuit got nothing on a towel uh, slipping off in all the right places. Randy, cut that out. <laughs> Youth, so pure, so naive. But I have to say, you've got quite the promising pair, that, though they pill in comparison to Emma, of course. <laughs> they must be brimming with fatigue. What say I rest it uh, all out uh, for you? Hold up, that's not the kind of fortitude I thought we'd be testing. Woo, you're gonna wanna see this, Kurt. Actually, I think I'll be going after all. <laughs> Milliam, I get the feeling everything's going to work out just fine. Hold on just a little while longer, Instructorine. Yuna, Kurt and I will meet back up with Muse and Ash somehow. And once we do, we'll get you back too, definitely. Ellie, are we just gonna let this happen? Uh, Yuna, please, have some decency. <laughs> Worlds apart, just as I thought. Hey, hands off already, you. Fine, let's see how you like it then, Ellie. Hmm? <laughs> Smooth and squishy to the touch. I could just uh, do this forever. Hey, Yuna. Woohoo, get it, Yuni. Now that's more like it. Stop it, you two, you're just egging them on. Now that's one way to finish an episode. <laughs> uh, and I think I got plenty of uh, thumbnail material here. <laughs> yes, and uh, we shall save it here and leave it for the day. 
So for now, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and be back next time. Of course, more bathing in the future, more training in the future. We'll get stronger and we'll go out there. But first, we gotta go back into the labyrinth. So I'll see you next time. Bye bye.